Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is part four in our Waypoint series. And today, a deep dive on hovering. We had always planned on doing a deep dive video covering a couple of topics related to waypoints. But the more we got into it, we realized there were far too many subjects that we wanted to cover for a single video. So this is the first of what has become a deep dive series, kind of a series within a series. If you want to be advised as we drop new ones, be sure to subscribe and hit that notify bell. Now, let's get started. This deep dive video came out of doing research for another video in the series. We want to determine the order in which actions occur within a waypoint. Specifically, we had read a suggestion that you can use the hover feature to bring the drone to a stop before taking a photo in an effort to get crisper, less blurry images. So we created a quick mission that has a waypoint with multiple actions. Here's the setup. Our mission has two waypoints. The first waypoint has an altitude set at about 167 feet. We're not using point of interest. We have a custom heading and gimbal set. As you'll see, it's pointed at an open field where an apartment complex is going to be built. There's a camera action set to take a photo and the speed is set to global speed. And of course, we have hover set to five seconds. The second waypoint in the mission is about 26 feet away and it's set up almost exactly the same. It too will take a photo, but there's one exception. This waypoint is not set to hover. The end of flight and signal loss settings are both set to return to home. And the global speed is set to around 20 miles per hour. So let's see what it does. We have our drone up in the air directly above the launch site, which is also our return to home location. It's currently pointed away from the first waypoint at about the same altitude. The controller first uploads the mission to the drone and immediately starts flying backwards towards the first waypoint. Let's pause it here. In the first five seconds, it traveled 72 feet, just over a third of the way to the first waypoint, and it's reached the global speed of 20 miles per hour. It's a little hard to tell from the video, but as soon as I hit that go button, it started flying backwards, yawing, you know, pivoting around and accelerating, all while flying in a straight line towards the first waypoint. Let's continue. Now it's done pivoting, and as soon as it approaches the first waypoint, it slows down. Let's pause again. So at this point, it has reached the longitude, latitude, and altitude of the first waypoint. Notice that it still says zero of zero feet and no time has registered yet. Now when I restart the video, these values will show up and then it will start adjusting the heading. You'll see the drone spin around to face the correct direction. Next, the gimbal will adjust to the correct tilt. Okay, with the drone in the right location and the camera facing the right way, it's ready to execute the camera action for the first waypoint, which is to take a photo. So when I unpause the video, watch here and you'll see it take a photo. Then I'm going to let it continue a couple of seconds. Let's see if you notice what happens next. Okay, pause it. Did you notice? Nothing happened. It took a photo and then it just sat there for about five seconds. That's right, it executed the five second hover. Well, I guess we have an answer to our question. The hover comes after the camera action, so I'm not sure that actually helps in settling the drone down to take the photo. Okay, let's keep it going. Now it's moved on to the second waypoint location. So when I unpause the video, it'll take its photo, and since I don't have a hover set for this waypoint, it immediately executes the end of flight action, which is set to return to home. So that's the mission, and here's one of the photos from the drone. Okay, let's recap. From go, it travels to the first waypoint at the global speed. Once it reaches the correct longitude, latitude, and altitude of the first waypoint, it positions the camera. First the yaw, pivoting to the correct heading, then the tilt, adjusting the gimbal, then it executes the camera action, takes the photo, and the last thing it did was execute the hover before repeating it all over again for the next waypoint. That's it for this deep dive on hovering during a waypoint mission. We'd appreciate some feedback on the deep dive format. Please click the link above and answer our poll. There's just one question. And don't forget to check out the entire series on waypoints. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying.